This problem we have a derivative to find, and we also have a quotient. So let's first start by writing the quotient rule, u over v prime is u prime v minus u v prime divided by v squared. Never write first powers in calculus if you can avoid it. So we have u on the top and v on the bottom. So I'm just going to start by rewriting this. 4x squared plus 8x minus 4 divided by 6 minus 5x. Now just be a little careful. You're used to seeing the 5x term in front. It's totally okay to have it trailing, but just keep in mind it's a little bit strange. You can reorder this. You can switch the order and write it as negative 5x plus 6. Totally okay. But I'm going to leave it the way it was written. So we're taking the derivative. So we have u prime v minus u v prime divided by v squared. Of course, u is 4x squared plus 8x minus 4. v is... 6 minus 5x. All right, so u prime, 4x squared plus 8x minus 4 prime times just 6 minus 5x minus u, 4x squared plus 8x minus 4, v prime, 6 minus 5x. All this divided by v squared. 6 minus 5x squared. Okay, there's not too much to do here unless you're trying to make the algebra look nice. I do need to take two derivatives. Totally forgot to write that derivative over there. So there's two derivatives. 4x squared derivative. Derivative of x squared is 2x. So 2x times 4 is 8x. Derivative of 8x is just 8. Derivative of every number is 0. Copy that down, copy this down, 4x squared plus 8x minus 4. Derivative of 6 is 0. Derivative of negative 5x is just negative 5. Divided by 6 minus 5x squared. All right, how much more work should we do? Well, we're done with calculus, so as far as calculus is concerned, we're finished. You can, of course, do some algebra. It's multiplication. You can foil these out, distribute the negative 5 across that. You'll get some common terms. Looks like you'll have x squared terms, x to the first terms, and constant terms. You can combine those together, make it look a little nicer, but you can also make a mistake doing that. So depending on what we're trying to do next, if I was going to set this equal to zero because I'm finding a minimum or maximum, I would probably do some algebra on it. But all we were asked to do is compute the derivative, so I'm leaving it in this form. Now, there are two obvious negatives that'll cancel. You can definitely cancel those two. All right, I'm gonna uncover the answer. Here we go. And you're gonna see that's basically the exact form that we wrote and we left this in. I just put this term, just put that term in the front, but that doesn't matter, it's the same thing.